It's Chris, and I'm here with Siegfried. We just recorded a podcast episode for the Tweet Dreams podcast, and in the middle of that, I was thinking how it would be cool to have something in a podcast where the, you guys were only listening to us to show what my guest does. Um, so we're going to do a magic trick. Yeah. And one of the things that we were talking about in the episode was this, the idea of how being uh, once... You know, an, an amateur performer focuses on you know more of the technical skill, and then as you progress into more of a professional, it's more about the interaction and you know connecting with the audience, and uh, more than like the, the the more than the technical skill. It's it's Excellent. about. You know, I think the idea sense. of building magic and juggling is to transcend skills so you can connect with people and right. have fun. So I requested a trick that didn't rely so much on the technical skill, but more on the actual interaction yes. with that. So yes. cool. I don't know what's gonna happen. We didn't set, I just, I, I have no idea. I didn't set anything up, I, I know nothing, except we're gonna do a trick. We'll we're gonna, see we're gonna experience goes. something. Yes. So let's do um, it, whenever you're ready. Okay, I, I don't know either what we're going to do, but we'll see, we'll find out. Um, Chris. Deck of cards, you can tell them. Chris, are they different? Are they normal? They're all different. Normal. Oh, yeah. Yeah! There we go. Shuffled. Just in case. Chris, we need a playing card selected completely at random. I'll go through the cards like this. At any moment, say stop. Stop. Right there? Yeah. And I can see it. We all can see it. It doesn't matter. Seven of Hearts. Do you like that card? Yep. It's a really pretty card, isn't it? <laughs> really pretty. I'm going to leave it exactly where we found it, approximately in the middle. Now, Chris and everybody, the idea is to try to create the illusion that your card melts through the deck until it arrives to the top. Sounds good? Yep. I mean, it sounds awesome. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> we'll see. Seven of Hearts, right? Yeah. Seven of Hearts. Of course, it's not on the top yet. Comes to the top. You know, sometimes people believe in this notion, this idea that the hand is quicker than the eye. Sounds familiar, right? Yeah. Yes. However, it's absolutely false. Magic has to convince the mind not merely the same. Yeah, so let's try again. Slow motion, Chris. Again, we're going to leave your card. Oops. Approximately in the middle. Seven of hearts. Chris, ever so slowly, push it in place. Thank you. And ta -ta. Nice. Now, Chris, at this moment, all of them must be thinking that maybe I have a bunch of sevens of classes, of hearts, but I do not. Only one, you selected it at random, right? Let's try one. Oh, once again, please, Chris, hold up your hands like this, and they can see us. There we go. This time, I'm going to leave your card when your hands is going to go from the very bottom to the very top. Slow motion. Chat, please do not take the rise of that card. <laughs> Chris, one more time, one wow. more time. We're going to come back to your card in a moment. So we have a good contrast. Please take any black card. Okay. Four of spades. We are going to come back to that in a moment. Your card. Your card. Seven of hearts. In the middle. Chris, if you had to take a wild guess, how far into the deck would you say that card is? Uh, 20, 20? 20 ish. Yeah, but 20, sort of kind of in the middle. Yeah. Right? Not on the top, not on the bottom. I'm going to use that one to try to find your card. Chris, grab the card like this, make sure it doesn't come off, doesn't change with it. Help. Check, good. Ordinary printed piece of paper. I'm going to use this one to try to find yours on the tips of my fingers. 
seven of hearts, right? Hearts. One, two, three. Uh, 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 <laughs> change. It changed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was great. Awesome. Oh. Uh, and as you mentioned, I think that what is nice and interesting and essential in this is that there is the interaction yeah. with people, of course. Uh, because if not, if you're just putting the thing in the center and it comes to the top, but you're not talking to people or trying to get them excited about it. It's not very magical. Yeah. Awesome. If you guys want to hear our actual discussion, we talked in depth, we talked for 45 minutes about performance and, um, but not, it's not all about magic. It's relevant for everyone. It's just about, uh, you know, taking risks. Yes. Jumping in. Uh -huh. Making things happen. Yes. But then also there's a lot of good performance stuff in there that isn't just uh, valuable for magicians. I think there's stuff in there that's valuable for people that really just want to be better at life. Yeah. And I do think that we were able to find some nice parallels between performance arts and life. Yeah. And so there's so, that's what the goal of the podcast, if, if you guys are seeing this video and you've never listened to the podcast, I've talked to a lot of performers and entertainers, but the goal is to uh, bring out things that we've learned as entertainers that are valuable skills in just interacting with people and just people skills, which are essential no matter what you do. So check out the podcast if you want, and uh, we'll have links in the description to all of the stuff. So check out your stuff, check out all the rest of the stuff. So thanks, guys.